Oh, he jumped! There we go, we got another one on. All right, so this is the rig that we're running here today. So first, we have our 6.2 gram fixed float tied to a little swivel right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Six pound fluorocarbon, a couple split shot, and our spawn sack right here. So we're just gonna cast this out, work some water, and if this does not work, probably gonna go back there and switch to like a crank bear or something and work the same area. But I'm just casting it, letting it sit out there for around 20 seconds. And if I get no interest, I'm still just gonna drag the bait along a little bit, maybe like three feet along. Let it sit for 20 and just repeat. Reside with a little jig right here, soaked up in that spawn sack juice, but six pound fluorocarbon, six pound mono, ultralight trout rod, a bunch of snags in the water. I'm basically asking you not to land a fish, but we're gonna try our best. Oh, and on the six pound test too, this guy's a little, loosen up that drag there. Uh, I can't even pile this fish in if I wanted to. But he is pulling pretty hard. He's just like a steady freight train. Look at another salmon down there. Oh. This guy's not giving up at all. Oh, he jumped. Don't go underneath that. Don't go to. Ah. Yo, this guy is fighting. My rods. He jumped over there. He seemed to be a pretty good size one. All right, so we have two jumps so far, which is not bad. Let's drop this down down there. Oh, he sees it, he sees it, he sees it. Oh my gosh, he just he just hit it, he just hit it. That was fast. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Fish on, fish on, baby. He's shaking right there. Oh my gosh, this guy's flopping all over the place. Oh my goodness. We're not losing this one, we have practice, we know what to do. We're gonna bring him over here. My dad's actually down there. I'll try to fight him up here. But this guy's big for the ultralight rod. Like I said, six pound fluorocarbon, six pound mono. I'm trying to keep him up here. Oh, he's running now. He's running now. Come on, come on, man. No, do not go that way. There's snags that way. There's basically, like I said, there's snags all over the place. Underneath the docks, there's snags. Over there, there's snags. Oh, don't go over there, don't go over there. Right here. I want to see him. Oh, he saw that net and he did not like that net at all. <sighs> A little camera shot, I guess. Oh. I don't know if my... Oh, <laughs> he's, trying, he's pulling like crazy. Alright. We're working this fish in. It's been five minutes. Trying really hard to horse this fish in without breaking my line. Man. Oh, I hear him splashing. I don't know what's happening down there, though. I can hear him. There we go. That's a nice fish right there. Ooh, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, let's see him. There we go, guys. Nice king salmon jig in the mouth right there. We're gonna nice, nice pitch with this guy and a nice release.
As you guys can see right here, this jig was not looking like this before. He bent out this hook. I don't even know how he was still on after he bent it out this much, but look at that hook. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the setup we're using to catch these king salmon. Uh, so right now, it's about mid-November, early November, and these fish are very finicky. So right here, we have six pound mono mainline, six pound floral leader, just because this water is pretty clear over here. Then we have an assortment of hair jigs. So I just popped it, gave it a few jigs, and he could not resist. Oh, he broke me off. Damn it. All right, so that last fish broke us off right in those zebra mussels. So I learned my lesson, and I'm upsizing the gear just a little bit, though. So we got our crappie rod right here. Medium light instead of ultra light. Now we got a 10-pound braid, 8-pound fluorocarbon, and a heavier jig. And with these jigs, I'm actually getting the juice of the spawn sacks. I'm soaking it in there. As you can see, it's damp right now. That's straight from the juice from the spawn sacks. So it has that scent, it has those natural oils. I'm jigging it right in front of their faces. There we go, we got another one on. He's thrashing over there. He's thrashing a lot. Ugh. This guy is not very happy. And he is pulling the drag, but I am happy that I upsized my gear. Ugh. He's pulling hard. He is pulling hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, you want to take the... You want to take the rod and I'll go come down there? Oh, yeah, he's burning drag. Yo. He is running like crazy. All right, so we're gonna pass the rod between my hands. One line at a time. I got it. As you can see, he's burning some drag over here. Oh, there we go. Tighten the tension a little bit. Oh, there he is. Awesome. Oh, he's running. I did not want him to go over there. There's a lot of snags. Well, then there's poles over there, too. Just trying to stay down. There he is. One more turn. Don't go over there. Oh, he's going underneath the dock. Underneath the dock is not a good place to be when fighting a fish. Come out. There you go. A nice fish. There we go, guys. Another king salmon. Second king salmon of the day. Put up a great fight. Let's get him back in the water. All right, we're switching things up. We got more of a black steelhead jig now. Going a little bit more finesse over here. There we go, King on it. Left it on the bottom and he clobbered it. Tighten up that drag real quick. Oh, he's gonna rub me against that, isn't he? Yeah, he is. But now he's wrapped around. Yeah. Oh, he's really pulling, he's really pulling, he's really pulling, he's really pulling. He's really pulling now. Oh, this guy's pulling hard. I really do not want him to go near that pole.
that. King Salmon. There's a King Salmon. You have a spare hand? Yeah. Oh, we're currently at the lagoon. Right there is the Discovery World Museum, and over there is the Art Museum. Now we got a bait caster in hand, and a nice crankbait. Now it may be a little early, but a lot of browns and sometimes steelhead, they migrate into this lagoon. But there still might be some kings over here as well, so I'm gonna cast out a few cranks, see what happens, and if we get no bites, simply move spots. But we do have a few adjustments on this crankbait that I'll show you right now. So as you can see right here, I got some UV tape on both sides of this bait. Make sure it has that extra shine. I changed the front hook out and the back treble has a little spinning blade in there as well. Now, all we need to do is just find the fish. But there is a kid down there that's been casting at the exact same spot for like 10 minutes. So he probably sees a king as my speculation. We're going to cast some cranks just in case a brown is roaming by. But if the kings are out, we might need to adapt. Uh, we hit a few casts over there. Now trying to get, crowd that kid's space. So we're going to move over here by this little, little hump. Now I have caught a brown in this exact same place before last December. So you never know. I'm gonna make another cast over there. A fish just surfaced out there. I'm not sure what species it was. Right about there. And it's not too easy. This is a short rod. I believe it's like 6'6". Six, six. So getting those extra far casts with this rod is not really ideal. But it's what I have, so we're gonna make that work. Ooh, and we hooked one and we hooked one Are we trying to go underneath there? No, don't go underneath there Oh, we hooked the fish. We hooked the fish. We hooked the fish. Oh, he's pulling hard. He's pulling hard I don't know what the heck that beeping noise is either He's trying to go underneath there. He's trying to go underneath there, and now it's not good. That is not good if you're trying to go underneath there. He's ripping drag. It's like I can't even make any progress on him. Oh no, he's pulling again. Do not go underneath there. Do not go underneath there. Do not go underneath there. This is exactly where I did not want you to go. Pulling this drag pretty hard. Let's try to move this way a little bit. Man. I really can't even stop him. And this is on the 15 pound floral, 15 pound braid. He's pulling all right. Oh, there we go, guys. King Sam. This guy's very zombied out. But there we go. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 5K subs, and it'll mean a lot. In total, we caught four fish today. And I would say that's a successful session. But stay tuned to the next video, and I'll see you guys later.